Hola, gringos. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're back with the beginning of day five. And apparently the camera crew had technical difficulties that morning. So most of the first witness's testimony was not filmed. And I searched and searched for another version of the video that had the full testimony. But I believe the cameras just weren't rolling. And I'm sure those two bovine tubs of lard were just crestfallen. At any rate, day five is full of testimony in Spanish. So I may actually cut some of the actual Spanish testimony and just leave in the translator speaking for the witness. So with that, let's get started. I said three times, stop, stop. And uh, I told Ariel to uh, look, to go look. To go help him. So when you said stop, 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 who were you talking to? There were some, some uh, young men in a circle, and then I, I assumed they were um, hitting uh, Nick because I couldn't see him. They were hitting somebody. So when you were saying stop, 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 you were talking to people that were far away from you. Is that right? Sí. The people in your group, when Nick's wife said, Nick's in trouble, did anyone go to help him? I remember it was Ariel, Ernesto, and Sergio. But Ariel was the first one. And did they, were they walking over to that area? Sí. Nobody, and when I mean nobody, Ariel, Ernesto, and Sergio, they didn't run over to help Nick, right? No. Did you see Nick in trouble, or did you just hear that he was in trouble? I heard that he was in trouble. And I think you said that you saw Nick walking back toward your group. Is that sí. right? And when he's walking back toward your group, you saw him kind of go over to the edge of the river bank. Is that right? Sí. And of if you can tell us about how far away were you from that riverbank area that you saw Nick walk over to? It was like from here to the door, the width of the river. When you saw him walk over to that area, I saw you make a motion with your hand, kind of like pushing it out in front of you. Is that fair? Same. Yes. Okay. So when, you, and I think you said in your statement to police that you believe he was discarding something. Yeah, he threw something out, out there. That was what I said. And when he threw, you don't know what he threw, is that right? No, no sé. No, I don't know. But the way and manner in which he threw it was the manner that I'm showing you right now, kind of, and uh, he moves his hand away from his body, kind of like that. Correcto. Did you see Mr. Mew walk over after he discarded this object? Did you see him walk over to the object, or did he head back toward your group? He walked toward the group, to our group. I think you told police that when he walked back to your group, he appeared white and pale. Is that right? Sí. Really wasn't talking. Is that right? He said they took away the knife. Is that the only thing that he said to you? And that he was going to go by the trees behind us. Now, when you talked to the police, you never told the police that Mr. Mew was looking to go into the tree area. Is that true? When you say that I, that I didn't say that when I talked to the police, are you talking about uh, the time I talked to the police by the river or when they went to see me at my home? When they went to your home, they sat with you for a while and spoke to you. Is that right? Sí. Yes. And they were asking you questions about what you saw and what you heard, right? Sí. Yes. They wanted to get, they were asking you details about what Nick Mew did that day, right? Mm -hmm. sí. Yes. And during this interview that you gave with police, 
you never mentioned to the police that Mr. Mew wanted to walk into the area by the trees. I honestly don't remember if I said that at that moment. So you don't have a recollection, a memory, of whether you told that to the police or not. Is that fair? No, I don't remember. Had Nick previously, that day, gone into the woods to go to the bathroom? No, I didn't see that. You described to the police when Nick came back to your group, you described his, him as being looking scared. Is that fair? Correct. Correct. You knew that Nick had a knife with him that day. Is that right? See. Yes. And you knew he had the knife to um, cut the rope on the tubes. That's why he had brought it. Is that right? Yes, that's true. You told, is it fair, you told your group, people in your group, to call 911. Is that right? No recuerdo. I don't remember. Your group stayed at that location for some time. Is that true? Sí. Yes. Nick didn't run up into the woods. True? No. No. He sat in his tube. Is that right? Sí. Yes. How long do you think your group sat there before moving on? I don't know. I couldn't tell you well, how much time we were there. You had mentioned that you wanted to move where you were sitting in your tube. Is that true? Yes. And I think you mentioned to the police that you wanted to move in your two because you were, you were concerned or afraid of the situation. Is that right? Sí. Yes. It wasn't anything that Nick had said or done to you that made you want to move, right? No, nothing like that. <clears throat> did he or did he not have his phone or don't you remember? I don't remember. I don't I don't have a clear recollection of that in my memory, yeah. When Nick came back to the tubes, I think you said it became quiet? Yes. No one was really talking? No. Tatiana was the only one who said something happened, but nothing else. Something must have happened. Did Nick appear? Nick appeared to be in shock to you, right? Yes. When Nick came back to your tubes, did he just sit in the tube? Yes, as far as I remember, yes. You didn't see him run away from the tubes and try to get away from you guys, is that right? No. No. You were with a gentleman, if you know, by the name of Eric, is that right? He was with your group? Yes, there was a guy there, but I didn't know him. Ms. Costanza, do you remember seeing this gentleman... With your group? Yes. Say. Yes. And that's Eric Von Williams. I don't know if you know his name. Yes, I remember the name when they introduced us. And Mr. Von Williams went over to, to at least try to render aid or help. Is that right? Do you remember that? I didn't see uh, him walking at that. I, I didn't see when he was walking. Did you see the number of people that were in the other groups? There were several people there, but I didn't pay attention on the number of people. But you believe that Nick was the only member of your group from over there, right? Sí. Yes. I don't even have any questions. Just think. <clears throat> Mr. Anderson, do you have more questions? Only one who saw Nick throw, the, throw something? I never talked to the group about that. I don't know if they saw that. Did you, did you know that that was important information to tell police? Well, yes. When Nick came back, do you know if the look was shock or fear or something else? Like in shock? When you're leaving, specifically did not want to sit by Nikolai because you were afraid to sit close to him, right? Yes. 
Nothing else. Mr. Trophacy? You didn't know what happened. Is that <clears throat> fair? No. No. So you weren't afraid to sit next to him because of anything he had done? No. No. You were afraid in part because of the look on his face, right? Correct. Correct. The shock that he had on his face concerned you, right? Si. Yes. That's the reason that you didn't want to sit next to him, right? Podría decir que sí. You could say that, yes. That's all I have. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Costanza. You may step down. Is she released? No. How is everyone doing? Does anybody need a break? Well, wasn't that nice of him? Let's do one more. Uh, let's continue then. Mr. Anderson, who is the next witness? Alba Torres. You swear testimony. You're about to give in this matter. Shall be your truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes. Thank you. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Anderson. Can you please state your name for the record? Alba Rosa Torres. Alba Rosa Torres. And can you... Alba, were you tubing with Nikolai on July 30, 2022? Si. Yes. And I want to direct your attention to about the time the phone was lost, if you remember that. See, si. Yes. Sometime after the phone was lost, was there some sort of disturbance? Si. Yes. What do you remember about that? Mm, not much, because I didn't see. You didn't see anything about what happened downriver? Everything had already happened. So you just weren't looking in that direction? No. No. Do you remember hearing screaming or seeing people with bloody injuries at all? Somebody told me to call 911. That's it. Uh, they said something was going on. Did you know Nick, Nick Nikolai before that day in, on the river? Si. Yes. How long had you known him? About five or six years. Were you friends? Si. Yes. After, did you say Tatiana told you to call 911? Si. Yes. After that, did a person from your group leave to go help with the injured? Si. Yes. Do you remember who that was? Uh, Eric. Uh, Eric. Was the reason your group didn't leave sooner because Eric was away helping with the victims? Nope. Nope. You told police, you remember telling the police about how you're impressed with how Eric react, responded to the situation? Mm, no. Mm, no. Do you remember anything you told law enforcement? It sounds like Jelly Roll's getting a little frustrated. About Eric and... Only that he had gone uh, there to help. Do you remember telling law enforcement that your group called Eric back to your group so you could leave? Um, yes. Do you remember telling law enforcement that that man conducted himself very well and that's why we were waiting so long until the police came? Si. Yes. Because he was away from your group, so you had to wait for him to come back, right? Si. Yes. When you saw people who were injured, were you wondering or trying to figure out who did it, who was the person who caused those injuries? I didn't know, but yes. And when you eventually left from the sandbar, Nikolai was wearing his hat, sunglasses, and jacket, right? When we were tubing? Yes. His jacket. But I don't remember if he was wearing sunglasses. What about a hat? I don't remember. When you spoke with law enforcement, you gave them a video you took after you left the sandbar. Do you remember that? See? Si. Yes. 
has something like a uh, hammer in his hand. Just take a picture and save it. I don't take a picture, take a video. I take a video. Look. Just take whatever. Look what he has in his hand. Look. Amy, get out there. Look. So are you. He has something in his hand. Just take you take a picture, take a video, take whatever. We don't know if it has anything to do with anything, but just take it. Huh? Just take. So I try. Over there, everybody put your ass out. Yeah. And Neto, move it para allá. Mueve para allá. No, pero donde quiera va a estar roca, lo que levanten el. Escúchame. Escúchame. Para allá. But just take a video. He waiting for something. Just take a video. I know. I try, but maybe I can't. Porque él está viniendo desde allá con un con una cosa en la mano, un martillo. Hold your phone. We're going over the rapids. Over the rapids. And he waiting. Oh, but that was a video. You took after you left the sandbar when you're going to the exit, right? Same. Yes. And in the beginning of the video, is that Nick that you see paddling with his hand? I saw that he was there. He was there with us, but I was taking the video because I was scared. Were you scared because you didn't know where the person was that had hurt those people? Same. Yes. You thought maybe the guy up on the shore was the person who did it? Yes. Did it turn out to be an employee of the tubing company? No, sé. I don't know. Do you remember telling law enforcement that it turned out it was an employee of the tubing company? Yo no recuerdo. I don't remember. Do you remember uh, telling police that you were wrong, that it was a hammer, that was a... because you're poor English, you used the wrong word? Sí. Yes. Do you remember what was in his hand? No recuerdo. I don't remember. Pero algo tenía. But he had something. Was it maybe a radio or couldn't you see? I don't know. I don't remember. Did you hear in the video somebody saying in English, you're almost there? No. No. Do you recall telling law enforcement that when Nick came back to the group, he appeared calm? I saw him just normal. And that was the time that you remember seeing blood everywhere and injured people? I didn't see anybody injured. I only saw that uh, from uh, something was going on uh, far away. When you saw Nick, you described him as being calm. I saw him normal. We were all scared. I don't have anything else. Mr. Strophacy? Oba, you and your group were tubing with uh, Nick and his wife on the Apple River that day, is that right? Correct. Correct. And do you remember uh, your group stopping uh, at the Hideaway Bar uh, before all of this happened? Do you remember that? Correct. Correct. And when your group had stopped earlier in the afternoon, Nick was snorkeling around the area, is that right? See. Si. Yes. Does there come a point where Ariel loses his phone? No, not at that, that moment, no. Is there some point later on on the trip where Ariel loses his phone? See? Si. Yes. And you know that Nick, because he has a snorkel and goggles, offers to go look for that phone. Is that right? See? Si. Yes. So Nick leaves your group and goes away looking for the phone. Is that right? Correct. Correct. Your group waits for Nick. 
Is that true? Correct. Correct. To your knowledge, is Nick by himself, meaning nobody else from your group goes with Nick? Solo. By himself, yes. And I think that you talked, when you spoke to the police, <clears throat> you mentioned that you saw this other group of people pushing Nick. Is that right? Mm, no. No. It's because I didn't see. Do you hear Nick's wife say that Nick's in trouble? Correct. Correct. When his wife says Nick's in trouble, do you look to see how Nick's in trouble? Mm, not at that moment because uh, my back was facing that direction. Yeah. Do you turn around to see what's happening? No. No. Okay. Do you see anyone else in your group respond when... Mr. Mew's wife says Nick's in trouble. My brother? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's your brother's name? Ernesto. Ernesto. So you see, you see Ernesto respond. How do you see him respond? I told him, go see what's going on. And to your knowledge, does Ernesto listen to you and do that? Yeah. Yeah. To your knowledge, does Ernesto walk over there, or does he run over there? How does he get over there? I just saw him walking over in that direction, and uh, all, almost at that moment, it, uh, Nick was coming back. Do you see Nick walking back to your group? Yeah. Yep. And when Nick comes back to your group, he tells you that he'd been attacked, right? Yo pregunté. I asked. Okay. You asked what happened, and he told you that he'd been attacked, right? They were pushing. That was the word that he used. Do you remember telling the police that Nick said five people, atta five people attacked him? Yo no recuerdo. I don't remember. What you do remember is him telling you they were pushing him? Yeah. Yeah. You described him as calm. Was he quiet? Callado. Quiet. Have you ever seen someone in shock before? No. No. Was he angry or upset? No. No. So he tells you that he'd been pushed. Is that all he says to you about what had happened? Correct. Correct. You described you being in shock to the police. Is that right? Of course, all of us. Okay. And can I ask you, um, at, at that point, why did you feel the way you felt? Because we didn't know what was going on. We didn't know many things. We didn't know anything. We were really far away. At that point, when Nick walked back to, back to your tubes, were you, in, were you in fear of the situation? And also when uh, he wasn't there, because we were all scared. When you say we were all scared, did Nick appear to be scared to you? I didn't pay attention to Nick. Did your and your group stayed there for some period of time after Nick came back to the tube, is that right? Correct. Correct. Do you remember about how long you were there? I don't remember, but it was for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't see Nick attempt to run away from you guys, like up into the woods or anything, did you? No. No. He just sat on his tube, is that right? Correcto. Correct. When your group headed back down the river after Nick came back. Oh, everything had already happened, basically. Had, did your group have any contact with police at all when you were on the river? 
Uh, we just called 911. Tatiana. Tatiana did. And was that the was that the only contact that you guys had with police? or law enforcement of any kind while you were on the river? Correcto. Correct. On that day, do you remember seeing Nick with sunglasses on at some point? Mm, not, I, yo no recuerdo. Mm, I don't remember. Okay. If I asked you at various points on your trip that day, were there times that he was wearing sunglasses Sí. Yes. Are there times that he was wearing this shirt? Sí. Yes. I don't have any other questions for you, ma'am. Thank you for your time today. Mr. Henderson, do you have more questions? Just one question. Alba, was there, did you ever hear Nick say he wanted to leave and go into the woods and, but Ernesto told him to stay with the group? No. No. Okay. Nothing else. Thank you, Ms. Torres. The testimony is finished. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, so that was some intensive editing, and I am exhausted. It has been an extremely long day for me. But as I watched both of these testimonies, or at least one and a half testimonies since we missed out on the first half of the previous one, I noticed that these ladies are classy. And they're in stark contrast of the skanks from the scumbag group including that female interpreter she really goes out of her way to try to say everything exactly the way the witness says it and i don't know about you but i kind of got the idea that neither one of these ladies think that nick mew deserves to go to prison and if you ask me i don't think either of those testimonies went well for the bovine attorneys and just one last thing that i noticed those fat tubs of lard need to get up off their asses you're obviously is all over that courtroom and full of energy while the two fat tubs of lard sit in their chairs wearing their enormous gray suits while they look down at their little table staring at their notes reading the questions word for word off of a piece of paper and i'm gonna have to go ahead and assume that both sets of attorneys must have agreed on all these questions ahead of time because if you notice there was not one single objection at least if there was i didn't notice it that was an objectionless hour of testimony. But as for me, Mushmouth, I've got to get some sleep. But I'll see you soon with more of Day 5. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. And I want to say one thing to your children. I know some really great ice cream places around here. <laughs> and Daddy owes you. Yeah. So talk to me afterwards.